hello guys if you are old here thank you so much and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video today we are going to design a detergent flyer so let's get started so this is four by four inches and my resolution is 300 so now these are the resources i'm going to use in this tutorial okay so you import this one click ok then apply your gaussian blur then enter 20.8 Now, reduce your opacity to 67. Then import this one. Then you drag it up. Okay. Then change it to soft light. Then apply your layer mask. Select your gradient tool and blend the bottom here. Then import this image here. Then scale it out more. And then you bring it down this way. It's okay. Then change the blending mode to multiply. Then apply blur, Gaussian blur. Then input 8.8. Okay, now apply your layer mask. Select your gradient tool again. Blend the bottom here. Blend it one more time. All right. Now, import this bubble. Then go to your blur, Gaussian blur. Then make it 8.4. And change the bloody mode to multiply. Scale it out. It's okay. All right. So, the next thing now. Select it by holding down your shift key and group it. Then this is our background. Then import this towel. Reduce the size and position it around here. Then import this one. Then reduce the size. Then place it around here. Then import this one also. Then position it here. All 
All right. Now use your arrow key. Good. So now I'm going to draw a rectangle behind the eight. Then apply black color. Then go to blur, convert it to smart object. Then I make make it make it eighteen point zero. All right. So okay. Then import this one. Then position it around here or anywhere of your choice. You can place it at the top or at the bottom, but I want to. I choose to place it here so anywhere you want you can place your own then also reduce this one then place it over here all right So here now, I have already put in place the test. So I'm going to leave the font in the description so you can check the description. So I get the material. Then I'm going to select this one and group it. Then you rename this one. Now use your arrow key then to shift it up. Select your test, hold down your shift key, then you also use your arrow key to move it up. Then go back here again. Then I'm going to select this one, then drag it here and drop it. Then I'll position it well. Now select them and group them together. So now what I'm going to show you now is the test effects. So the drop shadow here, as you can see, so what I use is multiply, then the algo is 19, then the opacity 84. So you can see them all. So and the stroke, 
then is 4 then outside and normal so the opacity is 100 percent this same thing applies to this one here is the color code so go to the drop shadow so the same thing i use in the ultra so that is the same thing i use in the wash then click ok then for this laundry detergent so you can see the color code are the same then the drop shadow for this one so you can see them the opacity is 71 angle 90 then the distance is 1 spread 2 and the size 2 so that is all for this one thank you so much for watching please remember to subscribe like and share also comment so thank you and remember to watch the next